Let's have a look at how we can plot a graph from a given rule. The rule that we're going to use today is the one that says y is equal to 2x minus 1. Now in order to do this, we need to complete a table of values like the one below. We've got a set of x values ranging from minus 2 up to positive 2. And we're going to take each of these values one by one and substitute them into the rule to find a value for y. So let's have a look at how we do this. Here's our equation, y is equal to 2 times x. So we're going to take the first value of x, which is minus 2, substitute it into the equation, subtract 1 from there, and then get the result. And we've got 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, minus 1, which gives us an answer of minus 5. So we place that in our table of values. And we proceed to do this for each of the values of x. So when y has an x value of minus 1, Our solution is 2 times minus 1, that gives us minus 2, minus 1, which is minus 3. You've got to be careful with the minus values because they do create trouble for some people, but use your calculator to check it and make sure that you're right. We'll do the next one. There's a 0, minus 1. So it's always the same rule, you just replace the x value. Two lots of 0 is 0, minus 1 is minus 1. Let's put these other ones in. So when x is minus 1, the overall value of y is minus 3. And when x is 0, we get y equal to minus 1. We'll replace the other ones in the same way. y is equal to 2. Replace it with a 1 and subtract 1. So two ones are two, two take one is one, so in it goes. And our final value we'll do down here, when we replace the x with a two value, and you'll notice the rule is simply double the x value and take one. So double two is four, four take one is three. Now once we've got these, we can go ahead and plot them because as you can see we have an x value and a y value. So we have a pair of numbers. So the first pair that we have is minus 2 and minus 5. Remember the x value comes first in an ordered pair followed by a y. The x value comes from here, the y value comes from here. So if you like we can take the next one and notice these ones here. That's our pair. So we can say, in this case, our second point is minus 1 and minus 3. 0 and minus 1. 1 and 1. And we're running out of place here, so I'm just going to move it across here. 2 and 3. Now that gives us five points to plot on our number plane over here. A few things you need to remember when plotting a number plane. We need to remember to put in the x and the y value for the different axes, the x one being horizontal and the y one being vertical. You'll also notice that there are no numbers here, so they have to be put in. So let's see, we've got to go up to 3, from minus 5 to 3 on the y value. So let's see, if we go up in every two blocks, let's make it 1. So there's 1, 2, 3, and we'll go up to 4. And down here, we're going down minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and we need to go down to minus 5, so we'll do that. 
across the x value we'll do a similar thing here we'll go across one two three four and five so that's one three four and five and the negative values need to be placed in as well so we go minus one minus two minus three minus four and minus five once we've done this we just plot our points so our first one is at x minus two y minus five right down here minus one and minus three there's minus one and there's minus three zero and minus one there's zero so minus one cuts right there and you'll notice that we've got a straight line occurring and these rules that work like this will be straight line rules so let's have a look at one and one it should be here the reason why we have a number of points is to make sure that we do the correct line and don't have any mistakes if you only drew two points you actually wouldn't be sure if you were right or wrong but by doing a third point and a fourth point you can see that the pattern occurs very well so let's finish this off two and three there's two and there's three up here And the last thing we need to do is to draw the line through them. So I'm going to take my line from this point here and I'm going to use a ruler to go right through to the other point. Now I'm extending it through a little bit this way and I need to extend it through a little bit this way as well. Going straight through the points the other thing I've got to do is to make sure that I put an arrow at the end of the line to indicate that it continues. And the last thing to finish it off is to make sure that you actually write the equation of the line on the line. So we're going to write that in here that this is y is equal to 2x minus 1. Thank you.